Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel where I give Korean study tips and show you my own Korean learning journey. I hope you all have been well and you are doing great in your own pursuits of Korean. Today I wanted to spend some time talking about scheduling effective Korean study sessions. This seems like a very simple and easy thing, but for some reason, I've personally always had trouble and it was one of the hardest things to get a hang of in the beginning of my learning journey. If you're anything like me, you might find it easy to schedule in the study session itself, but you might not be so sure on what to do during them. And I think this is an issue almost every self-studier has because we don't have a teacher or anyone to guide us and tell us what we should be doing and by when. So I ended up taking some time to research on how other language learners make their schedules and I came to realize that maybe I was overthinking this whole process that could be fairly easy if you take the right steps. So I'm going to be sharing four steps that I do to create a study schedule and schedule in my sessions for a week as a self-learner. Hopefully these tips help you out and you can use them when you study Korean. The first thing I do is write down my goals and what it is I want to complete within the next one or two weeks. Writing down everything helps me personally put it in perspective and it assists in seeing what it is that I exactly have to do. So for this week, I want to complete unit 4 in my grammar book, learn 50 words, and review talk to me in Koreans levels 3 and 4. Once I have my goals for the week, I put them aside for a second just so I can take a look at my calendar. I mainly do this so I can see when it is exactly I have time to study. During this step, ask yourself how long you want to study for, for how often, and look where you can really fit it into your schedule. During the week, I'm fairly busy, so even though it's hard for me to schedule in sessions, I still make sure I do at least 20 or 30 minute sessions four times a week and one long session that usually ranges from one to two hours on the weekend. So I'm putting in about four hours of Korean study a week. When taking a look at your schedule, it's important to check if you actually have enough time to complete all your tasks. And while I was looking at my schedule, I realized that I wouldn't have enough time to review Talk To Me Korean Level 4, let alone getting through reviewing Level 3, and that's totally okay, and I'm just gonna save that for next week. Once I completed scheduling the sessions themselves, now it's time to really decide on what to do during the session. This part is really important because if you come to a session not knowing what you're doing and what you're going to accomplish, you might end up wasting time. And I'm speaking from experience when I say knowing what you're doing really helps you become more productive in your study sessions. So I usually print out a table of the days of the week and put what I need to complete during those sessions on it. And then I start scheduling the things I want to do depending on what my goals are for the week. I have a little color code system that I use with different pens and I make it all look really, really pretty. And having a color code system can help you separate the tasks from each other and make them their own thing. It's also easier to see what type of tasks you are doing that day by just simply looking at the colors. So now let's start planning our week. I put the template that I'm using in the description box below if you guys want to plan with me. It's time to look at the goals list that we made earlier and based on that, this is how we're going to be scheduling our sessions. First, I'm going to start by writing all my grammar tasks in pink and spreading them out throughout the week. After that, I'm going to go back in with an orange color and circle what tasks that I count as review. Since I want to review Talk To Me in Korean, I write it in pink and then circle it with orange. Then I put my vocabulary tasks in green and I also make sure how many vocabulary words I'm going to learn each day. After everything is done, my schedule usually looks a little something like this. Now that we made our paper schedules, I also like to write it in my digital calendar so I can have it in two places, just in case I'm not home during my society session or something else comes up. I still know what to do. If you use Google Calendar, you can add what you're going to do by pressing the edit button and then going down to the description. There you can list what you're supposed to do during the study session. Since we're on the topic of Google Calendar, I also find it effective to keep your notifications on so it can remind you that you have a study session at least 30 minutes prior to it. When making an effective schedule, it is important not to compact it. If you miss one day of studying and then end up falling really behind, that may mean that your schedule is a little bit compact. If you're trying to reach a certain level fast or you want your 
your schedule to be this way go ahead and make it like that all you want but if you're like a regular studier who studies like every two days or whatnot and you have a type of schedule that's hard to keep up with i would say just tone it down a little bit so you can easily catch up if you miss a day now you might tell me that it's fairly easy to create a study schedule and plan what you want to do but a question that might come up though is how to follow through and not procrastinate i have a video on how not to rely on motivation to study so if you want to check that out go ahead but in short it's important to discipline yourself and make studying a habit also make studying something you look forward to instead of making it feel like a chore Think about how accomplished you will feel after you complete your study session and how much closer you'll be to your goals. That's all I have for today. Hopefully this video can help you make your schedules easier to make. I can't wait to hear about it in the comments down below. Thank you so, so much for watching this video and don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!